Hello and welcome to BOI Weekly. I'm Coyote Alayode. This week on the program, our tour of businesses supported by the Bank of Industry nationwide takes us to Amechi Uwani in Enugu State. We're focusing on Simon Pat Farmers Multipurpose Cooperative Society Limited. It's a 10-member group with core investment in agro-processing, particularly palm kernel extraction. Simon Pat processes palm kernel oil, from which vegetable oil is further derived. Soap-making companies as well as food and confectionery industries, amongst others, also use the crude PKO as raw material. Through the help of the Bank of Industry, the Cooperative Society was able to secure the necessary equipment to hit the ground running, namely a generating set, crusher, filter, storage tank, and a few other tools, all running into millions of naira. Let's see what they have done with these resources in just about one year. Both the president, Simon Pat of Farmers Multipurpose Cooperative Society Limited, Mr. Okolo, and the treasurer, Chinyere, welcomed me to the small factory. Chinyere Okolo, who doubles as the managing director of the Cooperative Society, runs the factory. All right, so, madam, can you explain to us what you do here? Okay, we are into production of uh, crude and kernel oil and the byproducts. So we go to the market, buy the kernel, or you get people to supply you at the factory, just like we have these ones on the ground now that were supplied by some of the you know, petty suppliers, not be the big ones. Tell me about the different palm kernels or the different species of palm kernel that you have. Okay. You know, it comes in different uh, forms. Like uh, you buy with the ones we buy from uh, Abia State or Kigwe side, the Were side, their kernel is different from the ones we buy from Soka side, still different from the ones we buy from Kogi side, then still very different from the ones we buy from Cross River. Because Cross River people, they, most of their kernel is water washed. So they separate the uh, the shell and the moths with water. For the kind of business you do, which is the best uh, species of palm kernel? The best species is the hand-picked ones. You get them from Nbise site, Okigwe area, we still get from Monsoka. The rate of the hand wash from Monsoka is very minimal. So we buy mostly, now we buy mostly from Monsoka area. That's where we buy our raw material now. Next, she leads me to the toaster behind the facility. So this uh, toaster tank can take uh, 2,480 kg of these uh, nuts, oh. which is equivalent to 31 bags, and each bag is 80 kilograms. So you can see the difference between the, the toasted kernel and the one that is yet to be Toasted. toasted. Okay, so this is the raw one? The raw one. Okay, straight from the farm? Yes. Yeah, and this, this is... This one is the toasted one. Mm. So you can see the difference. Yeah. This one is dark and has oil all over its body. This one is dry, no oil on it. Mm. If you crack it now, this one will be soft and this one will be hard. Oh, really? After seeing the toaster, we returned into the factory where the production proper begins. It starts with a heap of freshly toasted palm kernel nuts sitting next to the crusher. You know, the toaster, I've told you that hot air blows inside it. Yeah. So the kernel, when you're bringing them out, they're hot. You have to allow them to cool for some hours. Mm. Maybe, how, for, for, for instance, how many Like hours? three hours is okay. Then the temperature will also dry. The reason is that this uh, crusher has a very high temperature also so that the team will balance and you get your oil out very well. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. So from here, we now take it to the, the crusher. So
So this machine is the, the crusher. That's what we use to crush the toasted uh, kernel. This is the hopper, where you scoop it and uh, put inside the, the hopper. So once you pour your kernel in the hopper, it drops through this channel, enters your basket, and is being crushed. As the, the process is going on, your oil drips and enters this uh, tank. So when this tank is uh, full, this tank is, takes uh, the capacity is uh, one drum. So once the oil is up to the uh, certain level, you start to scoop it to your drums, where you uh, allow them to settle down. Two things happen in this basket. As the kernel is, you know, going inside the basket, the basket with pressure now squeezes the kernel. First of all, your oil will come out. When the oil comes out, then your cake will come out through this uh, channel also dry. Your oil falls inside the tank, whereas your cake comes from this uh, channel and we collect it with this, our our jute bags. The crusher is the most important machine in this factory. It is used to separate the crude palm kernel oil from the other components, now known as the palm kernel cake. The palm kernel cake is immediately collected and bagged away, 50 kilograms apiece, while the oil collected in a container under the crusher is being transferred to waiting drums close by. The palm kernel cake, otherwise known as the PKC, is the major byproduct from this factory and it doesn't go to waste. We collect our cake from this point and bag it 50 kg per bag for ready for sale to the users like uh, pig farmers, those that do poultry and even goats, they use it to feed goats also. If everything runs well, this factory with a single crusher can currently produce five drums of crude PKO in a single day. A drum of crude PKO sells for roughly two times the minimum wage. Our capacity for now is uh, we produce a ton every day, but we intend to double it. A ton is uh, the 31 bag that my toaster takes. For instance, for now, a drum is about uh, 37,000 Naira. This factory currently moves the oil produced from the crusher into the drums manually, and they have to wait 24 hours to further separate sediments from the oil. They depend on the law of gravity. But nothing goes to waste. Even the sediments separated from the oil known as the sludge, is further put to use. It's very, very useful. Okay, what's they the still use it to feed the, the beds. Poultry people, they miss it with their food. They still give it to the pigs. Okay, and because the, it then still contains yes, fiber. Yes, it, it still contains some fiber. And finally, finally, they can still use it as a kind of a fuel to cook with oh. firewood. You join it and you see there's no waste. But in order to save production time, the Bank of Industry also helped them to produce a newly fabricated filter which will swing into full operation in a matter of days. This is the filter. Like the process I explained before, we are using the manual process to filter. Mm. But we just uh, acquired this through the help of a uh, Bank of Industry. So by next week, we sure we power the, the filter. So the, the filter shortens the filtration process, it's quicker, it's instant. 
once you're using this, as the oil is coming out from the tank, mm. you are pouring it to this bigger tank. Okay. Then you can see the pipe. Yeah. The pipe sucks the oil from the uh, from this uh, position tank. tank, and it goes through these ones. As it's going through the filter, it's dropping off from the various uh, taps. You know, the taps are many because you no, know, it has to be dropping, dropping, dropping. But it's quicker. So at the end of the day, I can still sell my oil today, today, not waiting for the next day. Shortly after seeing the operations in the factory, the chief promoter and president of Simon Pat Cooperative Society tells me what led the group to engaging in crude PKO production. Yeah, um, it's a vision come true. Um, I think it was sometime in... Um, um, the ending of 2013, during one of our meetings. Incidentally, I'm also the president of uh, Enugu Diaspora Organization. Um, those of us who have uh, returned from um, overseas to come and uh, um, invest in, uh, in Nigeria. So uh, I'm the president of the uh, Enugu uh, Diaspora Organizations. So during one of our meetings, one of my friends mentioned that um, we were talking about things people do, and he mentioned that he has a friend who uh, produces palm uh, canal oil, and he makes about 40,000 naira a week. I say, wow, Ew, that's a good business. So um, as we entered 2014, it was one of my New Year resolution that uh, our uh, farmers' cooperative society, I will introduce it to them so that um, we don't only base on uh, crop production, let's venture into uh, agro-processing. So that's how we started. And as luck will have it, um, they say that uh, luck is when opportunity meets uh, uh, preparation. Uh, the Enugu State government